Okay, so in this video, we're going to do another uh, distance by two bearing problems using Table 7 from Bowditch uh, 2, 1981. Uh, and the, in this one, though, we're going to do a distance and a beam. So uh, I'm going to set my calculator up again. Again, if you uh, uh, are not familiar with Table 7, you may want to watch a different video uh, where I explain Table 7. This is just utilizing Table 7, so uh, we're just going to get right into it. So I'm going to set up my uh, little computer here. Um, as I always do for these problems, all right, I'm referring to my notes over there on the side. Okay, so what I got going on here is I'm going to have my course, okay? I'm going to have my true bearing, all right? And then I'm going to calculate my relative bearing, okay? All right, uh, and I'm going to have bearing one, column for bearing two. I'm going to have a column for time, okay? I'm going to calculate what my time is, and then I'm going to multiply that times my speed, okay, over 60, and that's just a conversion factor, okay? Uh, so my distance is going to equal my time run uh, and uh, times my speed over 60, and uh, then i got to decide what column I'm going to be in. So I'm going to be, am I going to be column 1 or table 7? Well, this is a beam. I already know I'm going to be in column 2. And then I'm going to anticipate that I might have up to four factors. So I'll have factor 1, factor 2 factor three, factor four. Okay, I'm going to then sum up whatever number of factors I have, and then I'm going to divide by the number of factors. Okay, and then I'm going to take that number and I'm going to divide it by my distance. Okay, so uh, let's go here. Steering, your vessel is steering 074. So that's my course. So that goes here. Okay, both times at 12 knots. So my speed is 12 knots. So uh, that's going to be 12 over 60. Now I just need to calculate the time. I'm going to stick that there. We'll get there in just a minute. At 214, okay, so my time is 214. Uh, the light bears 115. So here I go, 115, okay, and that was 0214. And then at 0223, okay, uh, usually I put the later one at the top just to make the math easier, okay. Um, uh, the light bears 135. Okay, so that should be, what is that, 6 and 3, that's 9 minutes. Okay, so that's some distance. It's going to be 9 times 12 over 60. I'll do that math in just a minute. What I want to do is I want to do these guys here, okay? So that should be 26 and 15, but we won't take any chances. So we'll use the old calculator for this, all right? So 115 minus 74, all right, that's 41, okay? And uh, 135 minus 74 that's 61 okay now these are the relative bearings that's my course that was the bearing off the bat you know uh, that was the true bearing and i just calculated the re relative bearing off the bow by uh, doing that math uh, i look at this i'm going to be going to table seven next and i'm going to be using i'm going to be looking for 4161 so i go here and i look well there's a 40 there's a 42 there's no 41 so i'm going to have to interpolate between those two and there's a, what am I doing there? Uh, 61. There's a 60 and a 62, but no 61. So I'm going to have to interpolate there too. Okay, these those are from the last problem. Okay, so I'm going to have to interpolate and get four factors out of there. So what I need is, uh, I'm going to bracket this 41. That's going to be 40 and 42. And this is going to be 60 and 62. And I'm going to go 40, 60, 40, 62. Then I'm going to go 42, 60, 42, 62. Okay, and I got to do all these in the second column because it's a B. So here we go. So I'm going to go to 40. Here's column 40. And, I gotta, and I'm going to use the second column. And I'm going to go 40, 60, and 40, 62. So here's 40. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I got 40. Okay, and I got to go second column. And I'm going to go 40, 60, 40, 62. So these are my two factors for 40, 1.63 and 1.52. Let me put those over here. 1.63, 1.52. Great. Now I'm going to do 42, 60 and 42, 62. So I come over here. Okay, here's 42. I got to go to the second column because it's a beam. And I go 42, 60. 42.62, that's 1.88 and 1.73. 1.88, 1.73. Okay, I'm done with table seven. Now I'm going to sum those. There's four of them. I'm going to sum them and divide by four, and that'll be my, uh, my, my, uh, uh, my ratio. 
So what, what were my factor? 1.6. So, okay, here we go. So now I clear this out. 1.63 uh, plus 1.52 plus 1.88 plus 1.73 equals, that's 6.76, okay? And then I'm going to divide that by 4, divide that by 4, and that gives me 1.69. Great. Now my distance is going to be 9 minutes times 12 knots divided by 60. So I'm going to go 9 times 12 divided by 60, and that gives me 1.8 miles. So I went 1.8 miles, and my leg, when I'm off a beam, is going to be 1.69 times 1.8. So this drops down here, 1.8, and my distance, okay, my distance off at time of second bearing, or my distance off when a beam <clears throat> is going to be 1.8 times 1.69, and that gives me 3.0. So 3.0 nautical miles is how far I'll be off when I'm beam.